for a trip to the new zoo. And Neil Anderson joins us now live from Swamico. Good morning, Neil. Hey, good morning. I'm here with Dr. Tracy Gilbert, and we're back uh, with the white-tailed deer. Uh, we're behind uh, the animal hostel. We have our quarantine area. And uh, what we ended up doing is that we just uh, began the sedation process with uh, this little male. And Doc, what are we going to do today? Well, Roebuck is done with his quarantine period. Um, he needs to get an exam and some vaccinations and then gets to go out and meet the girls out in the deer yard. So as you can see, you know, for us to go ahead and dark him, here's the type of equipment that we use. And uh, this is a uh, CO2 rifle. Mm. And what it does is uh, Doc will put the, uh, the uh, chemical agent in here and uh, we'll fill that up and then what I'll do is then I'll put this in uh, to the uh, rifle and then it has a CO2 charge and then we can dial this up for different distances depending obviously how far we are and we want to look at making a, a direct shot you know basically on the the back flank like that so that it's a perpendicular shot you can take a look at here this is the dart the dart has a, a, a little charge in here so what happens is once it hits, uh, and you can see there's like a little gelatin, mm -hmm. a little uh, end of here, that little green part. What that'll do is that'll stick into the animal. It eventually would go ahead and uh, dissolve so that the dart could fall off. But uh, what it'll do is that once it hits, this charge will then drive uh, the chemical agent then into uh, the animal. And then, of course, at that particular time, like we're doing right now, then we're waiting, right, Doc? Yeah, this is the fun part. Um, got our sharpshooter, and he got a nice shot into Roebuck, who has disappeared into his dark little den where <laughs> we can't see him. Um, but that was about five minutes ago. Typically takes five to ten minutes for these drugs to take effect, so we're hoping he's going to be nice and groggy when we open that door, and then we can complete our exam and load him up and take him to the deer yard then. Neil, th this... Um, sure. There are different ways to do this though, right? I mean, I know that you have more confined right. areas to get a, a better shot or a better, sure. better target with some of these animals, right? Yeah, absolutely. There's a few different ways we can do it. We have different things. We can use a pole stick. Uh, you know, we can go ahead and use a blow gun. We have a CO2 rifle, a pistol. You know, it just depends on the situation. You know, and that's one thing is we're looking at, especially, you know, building a new animal hospital is to also then design in a holding area you know, that we can uh, go ahead and restrain the animals. Uh, so then at that particular point, we would not have to use this particular type of equipment in there. Now, a lot of times you'll see the equipment we're using here, we would use out in the field on an exhibit, more or less, you know, we have to go ahead with the, to use this in this back area. Uh, this, the animal hospital was built in 1993 and uh, we're excited and uh, we're fundraising right now. The Zoo Society is, uh, for a new animal hospital, but that is to upgrade all this. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned P2, and we do have a tamer system back there as well. But for a small deer, it's really difficult uh, to bring that deer into that small tamer system. So we kind of take a look at the individual, what we have, and go from there. Yeah. Well, Neil, doctor, thank you very much. We'll check back with you uh, next hour, okay? Hey, 